On the day of his son's wedding, Peter was filled with excitement as he drove to his fiancée Emily's house, where his in-laws would finally meet his father, Thomas, the night was serene, with a clear sky adorned by brightly shining stars, mirroring the joy in Peter's eyes as he envisioned the union of the two families for Peter and Emily, this dinner was a significant step toward their eagerly anticipated wedding. Thomas, a middle-aged man with a gentle and humble countenance, shared in his son's joy, overjoyed at the prospect of witnessing his son's marriage, Thomas eagerly looked forward to meeting Emily's parents as the evening unfolded, however, the atmosphere took an unexpected turn, Thomas, when asked about his profession, proudly revealed that he was a janitor at a university, finding fulfillment in his work, a palpable discomfort settled in the room as the girl's parents, concerned with appearances and status, exchanged disappointed looks attempting to salvage them situation, Emily tried to shift the conversation, but the tension lingered, the disapproving tone of the bride's mother conveyed a sense of disdain, leaving Thomas feeling belittled, undeterred, he asserted, my son has a bright future ahead of him, your daughter is certainly in good hands, Peter, sensing his father's unease, intervened, expressing his love for Emily and emphasizing that their relationship was what truly mattered, the bride's parents, attempting to smooth things over, added, reassurances, but the dinner, intended as a celebration, became tense and uncomfortable as father and son returned home in a silence laden with unspoken emotions, Peter apologized for his in-law's behavior, Thomas, with his characteristic humility, smiled sadly and replied, don't worry, son, what really matters is the love you have for Emily, you're marrying her, not her parents, Thomas had always adhered to simple principles, raising his son alone after his wife's tragic death, despite the challenges, he worked diligently as a janitor to provide Peter with a decent life. Their bond thrived on dedication and support, enabling Peter to become an intelligent and determined young man, while the dinner may have been a fiasco, Thomas remained steadfast in his belief that love and genuine connections surpassed societal expectations and superficial concerns, she only wished to spend eternity with her beloved, and when they finally set the wedding date, Thomas was as excited as his son, Little did he know that the meeting with the bride's parents would be marred by rudeness and unpleasant comments about his janitorial profession, the memory of that dinner lingered in Thomas's mind, with the disdainful looks and hurtful comments leaving an indelible mark, the couple, implying that any contribution from Thomas to the wedding would be inconsequential compared to their grand offerings, added to his sense of diminishment and insecurity, as the days unfolded. Thomas grappled with the feeling of being unable to match the substantial financial contributions. Expected from his son's in-laws, restless nights were spent contemplating how he could express his love and pride for Peter in a meaningful way, though lacking material wealth, Thomas recognized he possessed something invaluable, a generous and creative man at heart, he pondered his years at the university, finding inspiration in the stories and moments he had witnessed, an idea began to take shape in Thomas's mind. A unique offering that reflected his experiences and genuine sentiment I hope they like it, it's very special to me, he whispered, gazing at the present his heart held dear the night before the wedding, Thomas reflected on his life, marveling at how things had unfolded, although happy to witness his son's marriage, a heavy heart acknowledged his financial limitations, despite his longing to offer something grand, he resolved to give what he could, when I have more money, I'll buy something more expensive, he murmured. His sadness evident on the much-anticipated wedding day. The ceremony was intended to be intimate and meaningful. Aligning with Peter and Emily's desires, however, upon arriving at the venue, the couple was met with an unpleasant surprise, the simple decorations they had chosen were transformed into a spectacle of luxury and opulence, orchestrated by the bride's parents, proudly declaring it their gift, the parents had hired a wedding team to alter the plans, turning the intimate event into a big, extravagant ceremony. Emily, frustrated and disappointed, watched her dream of a simple and personal celebration crumble, expressing her dismay, she confronted her parents, asserting her right to decide on her special day, despite Emily's protests, her parents remained convinced that they were acting in her best interest, the groom, recognizing his beloved's distress, tried to comfort her, emphasizing that what truly mattered was their shared happiness on this significant day. The couple aimed to focus on each other and the joy of finally being together forever. Meanwhile, the janitor arrived at the wedding venue, donned in the best suit he could find, 
as he stepped into the place, he marveled at the enchanting decorations, completely unaware that it was orchestrated by the bride's parents, his face radiated happiness, eager to witness his son's joyous union, however, his elation was short-lived as the bride's parents displayed snobbish behavior, mocking him for his janitorial profession. They sarcastically inquired about his gift for the couple, suggesting it might be a broom kit. Eliciting laughter from the guests they had invited without consulting their daughter, Thomas felt humiliated, his cheeks flushed with embarrassment, despite the disrespect and insensitivity, he maintained his composure, determined not to let their mockery spoil the joyous occasion, responding with grace, he acknowledged the grandeur of the wedding they had arranged for their daughter, expressing genuine admiration. Undeterred by their petty behavior, Thomas assured them that his gift held great emotional value and would be delivered after the ceremony. This only intensified Emily's parents' irritation, fueling their desire to ridicule the janitor at any cost as the wedding proceeded, the bride's parents continued their attempts to outshine Thomas, during the toasts, they teased him once again, questioning the whereabouts of his supposedly valuable gift for their children, in the face of this, Peter intervened. Reassuring his father that his presence was the greatest gift, and Emily echoed her affectionate sentiments, however, Emily's words visibly discomfort her parents, unable to accept that she held respect and love for her father-in-law, undeterred, Thomas briefly left and returned with a large, carefully wrapped painting, guests watched in amazement as he presented the couple with a serene and beautiful landscape, painted by none other than Henri Dequa, the bride's parents, initially dismissive, were stunned when they recognized the renowned artist's signature. The painting, passed down through Thomas's family, held deep sentimental value for him and Peter, as Thomas shared the story behind the painting, revealing the ancestry of Henri Dequa, Emily's parents were left in shock and disbelief. The revelation that Thomas was a descendant of Henri Dequa, a renowned French artist, turned the atmosphere on its head. Emily's parents, who had ridiculed him moments before, were now confronted with the extraordinary discovery that the humble janitor was connected to one of the most famous artists in French history, their initial scorn was replaced by astonishment and awe, transforming the dynamics of the celebration, the revelation struck everyone with profound shock, particularly Emily's parents, who felt a deep sense of shame for their earlier behavior towards someone who, as it turned out, held far greater importance than they had ever imagined. The bride and groom exchanged looks of understanding and admiration for Thomas, the painting. Once a sentimental gift from Thomas's grandparents, now unveiled itself. As a legacy of immense historical and financial significance. Stunned by the discovery, Emily's parents hastily apologized to the janitor, now aware that they were conversing with someone of considerable wealth, surprise and embarrassment painted their faces as the room buzzed with murmurs and speculation about the unexpected turn of events. Following this surprising revelation at the wedding, Thomas and Peter delved deeper into researching their lineage, to their astonishment. They discovered that they were indeed descendants of Henri Dequa, the renowned French artist whose lost works were valued in the millions of dollars, the painting, dated 1880, held an unexpectedly large fortune in the name of its heirs despite the sudden change in their financial situation, Thomas chose to maintain his job as a janitor, this decision surprised many, but for him, work was more than just a source of income, it was a reflection of his character and dedication. The humility that had defined him throughout his life remained his greatest virtue, even in the face of newfound wealth Emily's parents, realizing the magnitude of their earlier misjudgment, attempted to flatter the janitor, perhaps hoping for a share of the inheritance or merely seeking redemption for their past behavior, however, Thomas kept his distance, treating them politely but not succumbing to their attempts to get closer, his focus remained on his family, his son, daughter-in-law, and the grandchildren that soon arrived over time, Thomas and Emily developed a close relationship. Akin to that of father and daughter, Thomas continued to support her at every important moment, showering her with the same love and affection he had always shown Peter, the janitor's family expanded with the arrival of many grandchildren, filling his life with joy and excitement, he cherished spending time with them, sharing stories about his family's fascinating life and the artistic talent of his ancestor, Henri Dequa. Each story became a life lesson, instilling in the grandchildren values of humility, hard work, and the importance of maintaining integrity in any circumstance, 
Despite the wealth in his inheritance, Thomas understood that the true riches in his life were the people who loved him with all their hearts. The janitor's life proved that a person's greatness is not measured by their wealth but by the size of their heart and the depth of their character, humility, and integrity, he demonstrated. Are treasures that no amount of money can buy, take a break and follow me into the next. Story, as the sun gracefully ascended over the New York skyline, Sharon, a resilient 27-year-old black woman, adorned her taxi driver's uniform with pride and anticipation, her first day on the job marked not only a new chapter in her life but also a beacon of hope for her ailing father, having shouldered the responsibility as the family's primary provider since her brother's enlistment. Sharon saw this opportunity as a personal triumph before leaving her modest home, Sharon descended the stairs. To her father's small bedroom, a middle-aged man confined to a wheelchair, he looked at his daughter with a blend of pride and concern, you'll do fine, my princess, just be careful, some people still can't see past the color of our skin, he cautioned with a shaky voice, Sharon reassured him, don't worry, dad, times have changed, we're in the 21st century now, and I won't let anything stand in my way, I promise I'll come back with good stories, she bent down, kissed her father on the forehead, and, Left, determined to face the world taking a crowded bus, Sharon headed to the cab company, envisioning how her first earnings would bring comfort to her father and, if possible, a small treat for herself, she daydreamed about the positive interactions with passengers, the conversations, and the city streets she would navigate upon reaching the company, Sharon was warmly welcomed by other drivers and the management team, who offered advice and good wishes, she absorbed every detail about the day. Today operations. And when handed the keys to her own cab, Taxi 126, it became a symbol of independence she etched in her mind. Throughout the day, Sharon provided pleasant and safe journeys, earning five star reviews and feeling a sense of accomplishment. As the sun set, fatigue set in, but she remained eager to share her experiences with her father. Little did she know that an unexpected event awaited her. Driving through the quiet city streets in the evening, Sharon reflected on her day with a mixture of pride and exhaustion, it was her father's birthday, and she planned a special surprise, a new sweater he needed, the image of them talking, laughing, and sharing victories filled her thoughts after returning the cab to the company, Sharon envisioned the scene at the mall, her father's smile upon receiving the gift, however, fate had different plans for the end of that remarkable day, as Sharon dropped off her last passenger in a more secluded area of the city, she noticed the ominous blue and red lights of a police car in her rearview mirror, a feeling of apprehension enveloped her as she heard the authoritative voice of the police instructing her to stop the vehicle, oh no, what now, she whispered, worried about the unexpected turn her journey home was taking, pulling the taxi over to the side of the road, Sharon began searching for the car's documents and her driver's license. Preparing herself for potential questioning, the policeman approached with a serious expression and greeted her. With a firm, good evening, miss, could you please get out of the car, confused and surprised, Sharon, still inside the cab, asked, why, I have all the documents here with me, she couldn't fathom the reason for the sudden encounter, and a mix of fear and indignation washed over her, the officer maintained his composure, repeating his request for her to exit the vehicle, frustrated and a touch angered, Sharon replied, I'm just doing my job, sir, I'm not transporting anything illegal, if that's what you think. The officer clarified, I didn't say that, miss, I just asked you to get out of the car, attempting to defuse the tension, feeling the tension escalate, Sharon, now nervous and apprehensive, took a deep breath and reluctantly stepped out of the car, standing beside her cab, her heart pounded with apprehension as she faced the unpredictability of the situation, this evening, which had promised celebration and good stories, was rapidly turning into a disconcerting intense experience as Sharon stood there, memories of her family's past experiences with unfounded discrimination flooded her mind, the vivid recollection of her brother, Mike, wrongly accused by police officers, echoed painfully in her thoughts, Mike, a dedicated worker, had been apprehended on his way home, suspected of stealing from a wealthy young woman at a party. Sharon recalled his pleas for justice being ignored as he spent a harrowing night in jail, solely because of the color of his skin, this painful episode had left an indelible mark on Sharon's family, emphasizing the harsh reality that trust was a luxury not everyone could afford, 
At 27, she viewed the world with a bit more optimism but couldn't ignore the lingering shadows of prejudice and distrust, despite her efforts to see past skin color, standing under the lights of the police car next to her cab, Sharon couldn't escape the weight of her family's legacy, attempting to stay calm, Sharon took deep breaths as the officer inspected her documents. Next to the car, she hoped it was a routine stop, a mere check of credentials, however, a lingering fear whispered that the shadows of the past might repeat themselves in her own life, the officer carefully examined her documents and then requested, so, you work as a taxi driver for this company, Sharon replied with a steady voice, yes, sir, I started today, and I was just finishing my shift. The officer nodded and instructed her to open the trunk, a surge of anger and fear washed over Sharon at the request. Emotionally drained and exhausted, she maintained her composure, stating, Officer, with all due respect, I'm not carrying anything illegal in there, I'm just working, like any human being, I'm more than happy to open it and prove my honesty. Her firmness surprised even herself as she confronted the possibility of history repeating itself after dropping off her last passenger in a secluded part of the city. Sharon noticed the flashing blue and red lights of a police car behind her, an air of Apprehension engulfed her as the officer instructed her to stop the vehicle, anxious about what might have triggered the encounter, Sharon pulled the taxi over and began searching for the required documents, readying herself for potential questioning, the officer, with a stern expression, requested, good evening, miss, could you please get out of the car, confused and concerned, Sharon asked from within the cab, why, I have all the documents here with me, the officer insisted, I didn't say that. Miss, I just asked you to get out of the car, attempting to maintain control of the situation, feeling the tension rise, Sharon reluctantly stepped out of the car, standing beside her cab with a pounding heart, memories of her family's past encounters with discrimination flashed through her mind, adding an extra layer of unease to the situation, yet, at that moment, the unexpected took center stage. As she opened the trunk with a sudden movement, Sharon's eyes widened in shock and horror, oh my. God. How did that get there? She screamed, taking a step back, inside the trunk, coiled up and seemingly calm, was a poisonous snake, Sharon, frozen with fear and disbelief, couldn't comprehend the surreal scene unfolding before her, reacting swiftly, the policeman threw his uniform jacket over the snake, protecting both Sharon and the creature. The unexpected presence of the snake momentarily pushed aside thoughts of discrimination and tension, still in a state of shock, Sharon watched as the officer skillfully dealt with the unexpected reptile. Eventually, the policeman managed to safely trap the snake using his jacket, and the silence of the night was momentarily disrupted by the sounds of surprise and confusion, Sharon, still trying to process the bizarre turn of events, asked the officer how he knew about the snake, he explained that he saw part of the snake's tail sticking out of the trunk, prompting a cautious approach to avoid causing a fuss. With a mix of relief and embarrassment, Sharon apologized to the officer, realizing her. Initial suspicion was unfounded, the policeman, understanding the unusual circumstances, reassured her, it's okay, my dear, I understand, no one can judge someone just because of their color or anything else, we're here to protect and serve everyone, no exceptions, the police officer promptly called the animal control department, and a team arrived to collect the snake, ensuring its safe removal to a proper location, Sharon, still shaken, thanked the officer for his help and respectful treatment. As the rescue team took the snake away, Sharon bid farewell to the officer and got back into her cab, relieved that the unexpected ordeal had ended safely driving back to the company, Sharon reflected on the day's roller coaster of emotions, from the excitement of her first day at work to the unexpected scare with the snake, it was a day etched in her memory, as she returned to the company. She continued to ponder the mysterious presence of the snake in her trunk upon reporting the incident to her manager and colleagues, a revelation emerged, a colleague confessed to using the cab for a camping trip over the weekend, suggesting that the snake may have hitched a ride without his knowledge, the company, concerned about potential negligence and danger, decided to compensate Sharon financially as a gesture of acknowledgement for the trauma she endured, with the additional money in hand. Sharon was determined to fulfill her promise of buying her father a new sweater, she headed to the mall, carefully selected the perfect gift, and returned home with a beaming smile, the unexpected adventure with the snake became a story to share with her father, 
adding a touch of humor to an otherwise eventful day, as night fell and the house echoed with laughter and chatter, Sharon felt a sense of happiness and relief, the unpredictable events of that day served as a reminder that life is full of surprises, challenges, and unexpected joys. With a newfound understanding that things aren't always as they seem, Sharon embraced them. Courage and optimism that had guided her through the remarkable twists of that day, ready to face whatever the future held, she looked forward to navigating life's unpredictable journey with resilience and a positive outlook. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next story.